as the entire WWE Universe is gearing up for SummerSlam. Less than four weeks from tonight as SmackDown will be having Money in the Bank qualifying matches starting with the man as Alistair Black, first time ever, will go one-on-one -on -one with Samoa Joe in our main event of tonight's episode of SmackDown. Also, they're on tonight, the semi-finals, first match of Candice LeRae and Dakota Kai. Both women will clash in the championship tournament later on tonight on SmackDown, plus so much more here tonight. As we're alive in Uniondale, New York, with the one and only. To kick the show off with a Money to Bank qualifying match. Making his way to the ring from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet. The former WWE Champion in Ricochet, looking to be a part of his very first Money in the Bank ladder match. Here in Universe Mode. Ricochet back here on SmackDown, I believe, first time in a while. First time since Velocity when Ricochet went toe to toe against Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. As Ricochet in front of this champ packed crowd in Union Dill, NY. They're going to go on to. Las Vegas, Nevada. In the T-Mobile Arena. At SummerSlam. To compete in an eight-man ladder match. Where the winner get an opportunity at a contract to cash in and maybe become world champion. As King Booker, the general manager of SmackDown Live, looking to give superstars an opportunity. There he is, the top 1%. He's E, C, 3. And his opponent, from Palm Springs, Florida, weighing in at 231 pounds, E, C, 3. E, C, 3 making his way down the aisle. Been a part of SmackDown Live since the beginning of the year. When EC3 debuted, defeated Dolph Ziggler in his first match on SmackDown. Now tonight, he's taking on a former WWE Champion who's been to the mountaintop before. We're gonna say they're gonna do whatever he can to get to back to the mountaintop once again in WWE. Here we go, matchup begins. That kick to the gut to start the match off, and I got the arm. Look at to wrench the arm here. Oof. Big shot to midsection by EC3. As both men. Oh! Right a stalemate for a second, and then Ricochet took him down with a clothesline. And I look at Ricochet. Ricochet got his hands on EC3. Oh, wow. Blending it down. Not enough for even a one count. A gut wrench power bomb, a gut wrench sit out power bomb by Ricochet. And EC3 with the STO. Got him. Ooh. Had him in the corner. A big punch to the face and a boot to the face. Now both men just trading blows in the early going. Knife at chop. Big exchange. Gonna go for a cutter, maybe. But got caught into a flapjacker. A flapjack by Ricochet. And now EC3 got him up, trying to go for a suplex counter into an in a neck breaker. A neck breaker, and then now EC3. They're gonna oh, do some damage there with that drop in the elbow. As, oh, try to go for a boot to the face, did not work out. Got him in the corner. Oh, back elbow by EC3. He should really have been looking for an opportunity. And tonight it's his only chance. At least Raw has the Cruiserweight Championship. Where there's qualifying matches, but SmackDown 
only has the money in the bank for both men and women. Easy to block the elbow. And the counter back and forth by both men. And now Ricochet got him in the corner. Back up by EC3. Back for Gano. Lands on his feet. And now Ricochet got him here. T-Bone suplex. T-Bone suplex. They're going to finish the job maybe. Up top he goes. Ricochet. Frog splash. I thought they were going to go for the 630. Would that be enough though? Frog splash too. Not able to keep him down for a three. Now Ricochet going back up top. Will that be the case now? Ricochet again trying to go for another splash. Did not work out. Over and out is EC3. Ricochet got him now. Oh wait, watch out, watch out. DDT onto the apron. Onto the apron. Head first goes EC3. His brain's got to be scrambled there. As EC3 try to bring Ricochet back in the ring. That's Ricochet. Huh. He caught him by doing a flip. Big fall shot. And I got him. Backslide driver. Backslide driver. Very close to the ropes. Can he make it? And he kicks out anyway. Does EC3. What a way to kick off SmackDown. With the brightest stars of the blue brand. Colliding for a shot at Money in the Bank. Caught him. Able to put him down. Not enough. And now EC3. Lying and waiting. Ricochet not going to like the view. Watch out. Neelif. Got him up here. One percenter. The one percenter. Close to the ropes. It's Ricochet. Yow. Shoulder up at two. EC3 not able to put away the one and only for the top 1%. Not looking to back down. Gonna continue fighting. Close on after close line. Momentum not starting to shift, maybe. We're gonna say call it for EC3 to get back in the ring. Got him on the apron, knocked him down. That's the one and only. Uh-oh. Up top. EC3 up top. Oh, try to go for a spinning back kick. But EC3 dodged the bullet. Up to his feet. Is oh, back elbow. Iris took counter. Shot, no. All four shot at money in the bank. Get to the gut. Wait. Recoil. Recoil lands. Is that enough? Two count. Ricochet's going to Vegas. Oh, my God. Here is your winner, Ricochet. That one shot Ricochet needed, and he got it. Recoil gets the job done. Wow. And they're back here on SmackDown Live, getting ready for some tag team action. We got Big E and Kofi Kingston here on the blue brand. Got some tag team match, tag team action. Got pancakes, got some cereal, but the crowd not digging the new deck. The crowd's still not in favor of the power of positivity nonsense. There comes their opponents. And their opponents at a combined weight of 650 pounds, Tucker Knight and Otis Dozovic. Heavy Machinery. A bright young tag team like Heavy Machinery. Otis Dozovic and Tucker Knight been undefeated for a bit. They suffered some losses against the Colognes and the Bludgeon Brothers, but tonight they're going to bounce back here on SmackDown. 
They've been vying for a tag team opportunity for a tag team title shot, but not the case here. Maybe tonight getting a win over a multiple time tag team champion like the New Day might do them wonders here on SmackDown. As the matchup begins, Kato Bataya takes it able to press Tucker Knight into this corner. They begin a clean break there. And now look at that. Got him up, got him up! Plants him down. You had the crowd chanting for Kofi moments ago. Crowd are more in favor of Kofi than Xavier Woods and Big E. And based off their history in the past. But maybe Kofi might be guilty by association. And oof. Back up on oh! Big E with a cheap shot to the spine, which left for Casey to get an advantage here. But I saw a headlock. And I took a knife. They're able to send Kingsting off the ropes. Trying to go for a swim attack and did not work out. Iris Swift got him in the corner. Spike that other corner. And now Kingsting got him here. It's Sire Rush and Lexi. That's Tucker Knight. I almost hooked the head off Kingsting with that clothesline. Now Iris Swift, they're going to bring Kingsting in the corner. Still to come later on tonight. Alistair Black taking on Samoa Joe. For a Money in the Bank spot. Yeah. SummerSlam, double foot stop by Kingston out of nowhere. Also semi-finals. Candice LeRae and Dakota Kai coming up next after this matchup. And then we get another, we, have, we get a first ever SmackDown Women's qualifying match. Where we found out who will be Money in the Bank ladder matches for the women this past Monday night on Raw. That's, oof, that's Kingston. Elbow shot to the dome. Get to the guy. Got dating team. So I got to try to crawl up to his feet now. Kingston going to bring him into the corner. Oh. Went for something, but Tucker that got the way in time. And trouble the Paradise Connect. Kingston with the trouble in Paradise. They're going to drag Tucker away from all this. Crowd chair for Kofi. Would that be enough for the new day? And Otis made the save. And look at that German suplex. Big E takes out Otis Dozovic. And now. Sending Otis over to, to, onto the apron. Big E make the tag though. Found out who's going to be in the women's money in the bank. Let him match on Raw. As Wick cover there. Big E got him. Soon as it's down. Two count. Almost had him. We've seen the likes of Sony DeVille qualify. And Ronda Rousey. Give a qualify on the Raw side for money in the bank. And now... SmackDown, we're going to see Candice LeRae and Dakota Kai collide. And also we're going to see two other women in a Money in the Bank qualifying match. And, oh, God. Big shot to the midsection. It's Otis, who's a legal man now. Irish whip over the top, hanging on. And it, no! Oh, just back and forth with the strikes. As, oh, wow! Otis, like a freight train, took down Big E. But you rarely see a, a big guy take down Big E. I mean, Big E's the big guy, but not that easy to take down. Double leg take down there by Otis. Ira swept, no. Big kick to the midsection, shot to the face. And oh. It's very hard to keep up here. No! STO takedown. Biggie took him down with an STO. And now Biggie trying to set him up here. No! Otis! Shooter tackle. Oh. 
And I got him out on his shoulders. Watch out. Go, oh, go first. Throw first. And now all this. Look at the finish, Biggie, here. There's no. Not even close. Biggie got him up. Wait. Wait a minute. Big ending. It's been a while since I've seen the big ending planted. Cover. Leg is hook on the oldest. And a kick at it, too. Biggie couldn't put away Otis Dotovic. Which again might have been too much humanity for even Biggie to handle. That's no oh, Biggie! Spear in the corner! And Otis oh, like a freight train took him down! And now Otis oh, Dotovic. Oh, watch out! Compactor! The compactor! But kicks them in the save! And Sucker like goes back into a cover. And now Tucker Knight just got Biggie in the corner. Uh oh! Watch out! Tucker Knight looking to fly, swim more, elbow drop! Where in the sternum! As Tucker got up, overhead, belly to belly! In wrist lock, belly to belly toss! Is that enough to beat the New Day? And in a cover, leg is hawk! No! Two count! Incredible tag team action here on SmackDown. They were to sandwich him in the corner. And now, oh! All these teams are trying to do is raise their, their stock in the rankings. Trying to get higher in the tag team division. Because right now we don't really know who are the, the, the contenders for the SmackDown tag team titles to go up against the likes of the, of the War Raiders. But block Biggie. Irish slip. Got him in the corner. And now Biggie able to counter. Big right. And two. Paint brush there. A slap in the face. As Biggie. Gotta go for the big ending, maybe, but no. Almost like a tit for tat here. It's like it's very tough to outpower Big E, but Tucker Knight is gonna not outpower him, but fly! Springboard elbow! Is that enough to get an upset win over the new day? And it is! Heavy machinery! What a win! Heavy Machinery just defeated multiple time tag champions in the New Day. Well, coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, wasting little time. A semi-finals match in the SmackDown Women's Championship Tournament. Who's going to the finals? We'll find out live next on SmackDown. Oh, my. Back here in Uniondale, New York. That's Candice LeRae. Makes her way in the arena. The following contest is a championship tournament semi-finals match. Making her way to the ring from Anaheim, California, Candice LeRae. Candice LeRae makes her way down the aisle as she's going to do battle against her friend in, Ken in Dakota Kai, rather. But in the end of the day, when it comes to championships, no, there's no friends every person for themselves when it comes to a championship. And tonight, we're going to see exactly that between Loray and Kai. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 
a match that a lot of people have been waiting for. Between Candice Ray and Satoshi Khan. Dakota Kai making her way down the aisle. She made it this far to the tournament. Able to get win after win. And now, she's in the spot that she wants to be in. One step closer at the championship. All she's gotta do is just get through tonight. Dakota Kai's been fighting for that championship for many, many months. And now, this is her opportunity to go towards SummerSlam and compete for the Women's Championship. This is what it's all about here. Women's Championship on the line. Or shot at the title, I should say. Matchup begins. Shot there by Dakota. Able to get Candice LeRae in the corner here. As, oh, big shot to the face there by the Dakota Kai. A little cheap shot. And oh, back elbow to cut over top again. Got Candice against the corner once again. And that big punch to the face by Dakota. Went for a kick, but did not work out. Able to dodge it. Or went for it maybe a, a bit prematurely. Double shot to the gut there. And then now, oh! Now Candice Lerae with a kick to the midsection. And a big close on. The close on and drops the knee as well. Remember, an opportunity at the women's title. Remember, one, one, one more. Just one more match. And they're, they're the women's champion. Once they get through well, one of them tonight. Once they, get through, once they get through tonight, they go on to SummerSlam to compete either against Brie Bella or, or Carmella. And then they'll, they'll become the first SmackDown Women's Champion since Ruby Riot. Big knee lift there by the Dakota Kai. And I've got Candice. No! Oh! What a Bulldog. Nice Bulldog there. But the leader of Team Kick trying to go for a cutter maybe. Able to block it. Trying to go for her Karana, but didn't get enough distance. Was not close enough to get Dakota Kai with it. And now Dakota with a with a chin lock applied. And now Candice already gonna get out of the hold now. Elbow shot. Oh. Got her in the corner though. And now Ira Swift. Look at Candice slides under. Look at this. Look at that. Oh. Beautiful Frankenstein. And now. Maybe it might be Dakota time. Dakota's turn now. Got her in the corner. Ten times under the top turn of pad. And now Candice already got her here. Iris up the ropes. Got her. Oh. With a kick to the midsection. Ira Swift over the top hanging on. Got her hands on, on Dakota here. Look at this. No. Oh. Wicked neck breaker off the second rope. And now Dakota Khan. Look at this. Watch out. Oh. The leader of Team Kick. With a boot to the face. But Candice now coming back. Got her front headlock. Applying pressure. They were to let go. That might have been a mistake. Kick to the midsection. The chiropractor. Chiropractor. Luray in trouble. Luray in trouble. Leg is hooked. Shoulders are down. Dakota Kai's going to summer slam. Dakota Kai. Here is your winner. One more step, and she might be women's champion. Speaking of the women's championship, Money in the Bank qualifying match as Paige will go one on one with Lita. Lita making a SmackDown debut live next against the former SmackDown Women's Champion, Paige. Next.
Oh, what a night! Full of action tonight on SmackDown! Here comes the anti diva Making her way to the ring from Norwich, England, Hey! Here comes the anti diva of the WWE, former multiple time women's champion in Paige. Between 2K16 and now, Paige has been a multiple time champion. One Raw Women Championship, SmackDown Women Championship, Women's Tag Team Titles. A Triple Crown winner, if you ask me. And here comes her opponent. First time since being drafted over to SmackDown. The Extreme One, Lita. And her opponent, from Stanford, North Carolina, Lita. As Lita gets a raucous ovation for a SmackDown debut here in Union, Dale, New York. And what an opportunity for Lita to even get a shot at Money in the Bank here. A match that Paige has been involved in in the past. Here we go. A qualifying matchup. Bella Swagger, there we go with a spear! Right off the bat by Lita. Don't want to take Lita lightly here. She may have not been wrestling a lot as of late, but you gotta keep this in mind. Lita was a dominant Raw Women's Champion. She went on to held the championship all the way from Battleground to 2K17. Later on that same season, she had feuds with Naomi over the Raw Women's title. And once she won it back, she able to go on to WrestleMania and take on Asuka. That's the last time Lita was the women's champion. All the way back at WrestleMania last season. And now Paige. They're going to go and work on Lita here, but Lita ain't no slouch either. Lita got her hands on Paige. Vertical soup. Flex! And now, oh, trying to drive the knees, but didn't work. Did not work out there, got her now. Crucifix didn't take her down. Ira slip. Off the ropes. Oh, over goes Paige. Gonna go for a drop kick, didn't work out. Paige now. Might be in trouble, no, counter, counter. Now we're gonna take her down. Yes. Oh, Lita. Look at clothesline. And I got her in the surfboard stretch. A rare submission move. Attacking directly at the spine. Trying to stretch out Paige here. She did not tap out, but it was effective. And now Paige got her. Whip her to the corner. Clothesline to the spine. And it's Alita. We're going to follow suit. That's Paige went on the outside. And now Lita got her up here. Look at this. Paige in trouble, maybe. What does Lita have in mind? Lita, wait. Oh. Dropping her face first on the stacks. Form in the face. We're going to bring Paige. No. Paige rolling through. Nice arm drag. And now. Oh, look at kick to the mix, midsection. Form shot, the form shot, elbow shot, kick shot, everywhere. Shots being fired. And a six by the referee. And now, look at Paige. Got the legs. What the hell is this? We're gonna turn her over. Oh, oh wait! Wait a minute! It's been a long time since I've seen that! The PTO, the Paige tap out, but Lita escapes the hold! The seasoned veteran able to escape it with Paige. Fisherman, suplex. Got her down. Is it enough? Two. No. Uh oh. Paige going to go into that place now. Got her. No. Let's defeat this leader. Big right there by Paige. Got her. No, the lights. No, the lights. Suplex. Didn't hold her down for a pin though. And now Lita, ooh, wicked shot to the midsection. 
Downstairs, downstairs. Got her up, got her up. Power bomb, no. Oh, wait. She did plant her. Got her. Got her down. Briggs, no. I thought Paige counted for a second for me to realize that Lita actually connected. Lita up top, though. Watch out. Paige, watch out. Lita. Boom, out. The Lita boom, out. Is it enough to go to money to break two? Yes. Paige couldn't get the job done. Lita's going to SummerSlam. Paige couldn't kick out. Here is your winner, Lita. The former Raw Women's Champion, Lita, makes his SmackDown debut and heads towards SummerSlam. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, the next time SmackDown Live Superstars will be on pay-per-view will be SummerSlam. But this year's theme of SummerSlam, we're going back. We're going back into the 80s, in the golden age. WWE SummerSlam, old school style. You don't want to miss the next time we're on pay-per-view. WWE SummerSlam. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next on SmackDown, it will be the main event as uh, Alistair Black will go one-on-one -on -one with Samoa Joe in the Money in the Bank qualifying match. The first one for the men here tonight on SmackDown Next. You're new to the channel? Click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you never miss any videos from this channel. Next week on SmackDown, the Money in the Bank qualifying matches continue as we have a big match. Our main event next week on SmackDown. John Cena goes one on one with the big dog, Roman Reigns. You don't want to miss it. Now, it's time for our main event here in Union Dale, New York. The Samoa Submission Machine looking to be Money in the Bank. Making his way to the ring from Huntington Beach, California. Weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe! Samoa Joe, he's been in this environment before. He's been in three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back years of money in the bank. Samoa Joe was able to cash in money in the bank back in 2K17 and win Universal Championship. At the Hell in the Cell pay-per-view, defeating The Undertaker. And now he takes on a man that is just as fearful, ominous, downright creepy, nearly, as The Undertaker. The former United States Champion, former NXT Champion. A man who's defeated the WWE World Champion in Randy Orton on SmackDown about three weeks ago. Look at her rise from the dead. Rise from the ashes. Here he comes. Alistair and his Black. Opponent from Amsterdam, Holland, weighing in at 215 pounds. Black. Could you imagine a guy like Alistair Black holding a money in the bank contract in hand? Alistair Black looking to make Samoa Joe fade the black tonight. Make his way over to Las Vegas where anything is or almost everything is legal there. And then go on to win the money in the bank contract and then maybe cash in and become world champion because it, it doesn't really say in the contract that you must uh, you must cash in the contract against the current champion of your brand no it doesn't really say that it just say you can cash in on any world champion you see fit so as to black to go after the WWE champion or maybe the universal champion over on raw but if as the black goes goes over to Monday Night Raw to cash in with the universal title then Alistair Black will be on the red front. Well. Alistair Black and Samoa Joe. First time meet inside the ring. Winner gets to qualify for the Money in the Bank. 
Uh, ladder match for the men at SummerSlam. We already have John Cena versus Roman Reigns announced next week. So, keep that in mind. That's going to be a barn burner of a matchup. Such as this one as well. Between Joe and Alice the Black. Seems to, black, seems to be that Black is in control at the moment. Double foot stop right around Joe. So, no, Joe's had classic battles with the likes of, of Bobby Lashley. So they went for a double foot stop there. Alice the Black did not get it, but got him on the needle that time. That running kitchen sink. And now Joe got him here. Snap two points. Joe's been through a lot here on SmackDown so far. Ever since getting drafted over from the blue brand. And so, oh, what jump. And a nice suplex able to take down Black. And now with Joe, that might be in control. Got him here. Dragon Sleeper. Alice the Black is close to the ropes, but I don't think he can reach though. Knees over to the face of Joe. On the bridge of the nose. Irish up over the top, hanging on. And now. And now. That belly belly suplex from the outside into the inside of the ring. And now Joe looking to meet Black on the outside. Got him here looking for a teardrop suplex. That belly to back, the belly to back suplex dropping him in the back of his neck. And oh! Little block the shot. Kicked in the midsection there by Joe. Spinning back fist blocked. And now Black sends it back inside the ring. That's what SmackDown's all about. Oh! Hard hitting it. Impactful action. As Alistair takes Joe outside. As Alistair Black going to go into that place. Here on SmackDown and Union Dead. Got a one by the referee. We see now it's the black. Oh, oh no. Samoa Joe looking to bring the fight to black there with that paintbrush. And oh. Comes to the midsection there by Joe. It's like whatever. Now it's the black. Feels that he has to match in hand again with the paintbrush by Joe. As he sends it back inside the ring. Whatever you feel that Alistair Black may have had the match in his hands, Joe finds a way to make you think otherwise. And now Samojo got Black here on the top. Boom! Able to launch him. Alistair looking to come back. Ooh. Big jawbreaker. And I got him trying to go for a cutter. You saw that coming, but Joe blocked it. Trying to go for a better belly, but blocked it with an elbow. And I got him with a front headlock. Front headlock there by Joe. Able to block down one. Big kick to the midsection. Trying to go for a top block. Black able to counter. Got a brain buster. Uh oh. He's going into the corner. This is not good. Samoa Joe. Not going to like the view. Big knee to the temple. Big knee to the skull. Will it be enough to sit Joe down? 4 3. No. Not enough to keep Joe down for a three count. But Alistair Black. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're going to fade the Black. No! Got caught into a power bomb. I've never seen a counter like that. Joe able to block the Black Mass and turn it into a power bomb. And now Joe trying to go for a strike, but Black counter with the form. Kick to the back section. DDT! And a bust up at Joe as well. And now they get Black. Oh! Soccer ball kick to the spine. And now Alistair Black in the corner again. Look at this strike again. Watch out, Joe! No! Oh, missed it! Dodge the bullet to Joe! Joe got him! Wait, got him up! And it oh, drops the knees onto the mat. Able to drop the knees into the mat cover. Is that enough to go to Las Vegas? No, kick it a one. Well, fair enough. Alistair Black has done more damage in this matchup than Samoa Joe. Pump up knee strike. As Alistair Black feels that the end is near. Or the end is here for Joe. With a close on to the outside. And a Black up top. Uh-oh. This is not smoke good for Joe. Black Meteora now crash and burn. Two. 
Oh my god. Samoa Joe was a tough SOB. You gotta give him that. You can ask Roman Reigns that. That's Samoa Joe Kyle with a Tiger and Agni Slam. Kyle with a side you're Anagi. But Black still fighting back. Went for a kick, blocked it. Shot to the spine. Back elbow by Joe. Training blows. And now Joe got him up again. They're gonna go for it again. Drop the knees. Onto the mat. And now it's Samoa Joe. They're gonna come back. Momentum beginning to shift here, but no. Black now. Blocks the elbows. Block with the elbows. Black mass! The black mass, but Joe's up the ropes. Joe was able to get the ropes. Able to make sure that he does not make out as the block. Go to money the bank. The crowd is on their feet in New York. And a black mass. That's it. Two black masses in a row. And two kicked out. Samoa and Joe got the shoulder up in two. And uh oh. Alistair Black. Look at some of his in his inner demons now. Close line. And another one. Joe's in trouble. That's Alistair Black. We're gonna try to put away Joe. Try to go for a cutter now. And Joe trying to go for a drop kick. Didn't work out. Missed the kick. Got blocked there by Joe. Ducked it. Shot to the back of the knees. Shot to the back of the leg. Trying to go for another cutter. But Joe Cobb with a close on that time. Oh my god. Back and forth, back and forth. Hard hitting action. Another good Samoa Joe. Got him here. Grounded. Look at that. Deadlift power bomb. The strength of Joe is unreal. Cover. Lung is hold shoulders and down. Not enough for a three. Samoa Joe's got to do a lot more. Samoa Joe's got to do a lot more! Black Mass! Samoa Joe has faded to Black! Jesus God Almighty! Good grief! What a way to end SmackDown on a high note! How is Cena and Rubber Reigns going to top this one? Next week on SmackDown, good night from Union Dales, Alistair Black qualifies for money in the bank.